All right, what's going on, my friends? Hang on. Let's get a let's get our clips going, our mics going. We're here live. There we go. Live on the air. Hang on here. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. Best work really here live. Spreaker. Blog Talk Radio. And Anchor. All right. There we go. Live on the air, my friends. Let's get our... Oh, we got to get our church in line here. Okay. See what's going on with the volume here, friends. Yes, it's happening. Whoa, Tina, what are you doing in my closet? Don't talk to me, Tina. Don't talk to me. All right, got commercials. Let's run them for a minute. Get a volume level set up and ready to go. Amen. Live on the air, friends. Anchor. And uh, we're at, there we go, Spreaker Anchor. And waiting on uh, Blog Talk Radio here in just a minute. I don't know what's going on with them guys, but that's right. <laughs> Still waiting on Block Talk. I don't know what's going on, but we got the Church in the House Monday Night Podcast. Glad to be here. Glad to see you or hear you. Well, you can hear me. I can't hear you guys, but I know you're there. I appreciate that. A little bit different setup. Went back to the uh, pop filter again. Uh, so we're, uh, I'm waiting on a chance and an opportunity to uh, bomb the room because uh, I am tired of them pesky flies bothering me. So I got a lot to cover, friends. Oh, the Holy Spirit's been speaking to me big time and Oh, my gosh. Uh, like I said, I always got lots to cover. And uh, I appreciate you guys stopping by, hanging out. A little different here. But uh, like I said, I went back to uh, the uh, original pop filter that I had. Uh, just to uh, kind of, like I said, we wanted to step this up. We want to get the best quality sound to you and uh, for you. So that, uh, you know, when you're, you happen to be traveling or, you know, running or if you're, you know, doing your exercise, well, you can sit back, relax and uh, enjoy the word of God, friends. So uh, glad, like I said, glad to be here and for our Monday night. Now I had to push it, uh, push the time limit up a little bit, had a lot of things to do uh, from early 3.30 or so. And then I uh, went and rested a little bit. but uh, So, try not to push it off too late. It is a little after 7 o'clock Pacific Mountain Time Zone here in the Great Northwest. And the, uh, not not the snow yet. We, now, we, we just got a little bit of a breezy weather today. But, uh, you know, uh, not, not real bad today, actually. So, it's quite surprising. Uh, as we uh, get to the end of the month. So, uh, <laughs> you know, just uh, get, getting the uh, stove set, make sure it's running good. Uh, I had to go back out and get some more wood set up and uh, make sure I had plenty of coffee, my friends. Because, oh, you know how me, you know how it is with me and my coffee here. All right. So, anyway, I'm set. We've got the big book of love, a uh, cup of coffee, pens, papers, notebook, tablets, highlighters, uh, and extra highlighters, just in case you run out of your highlighters and your pens, friends, because, oh, I've got so much to cover. Uh, we're going to continue in our Bible study where I left off last night at uh, 2 Corinthians 8, 2, and 7. And eight, eight, nine, and nine, one, fifteen. Uh, we're talking about the uh, ministry to the saints and the mighty weapons of warfare. Continued in part three of part or part one of part three. God's grace for you and Jesus is grace 
and truth. Well, I'm excited. I finally got done with those messages, but as it it you know as it usually is, the spirit shifted me again, and he's now I have to rewrite them uh, again in a, another notebook because. The other notebook uh, was kind of ripped up from my cat playing with it, thinking it's a toy. Well, <laughs> it's not. It's my note. So anyway, I'm in the process of redoing that again. But that's all right. Like I said, uh, God has made a way where there is no way, and he's opened up doors where I can just sit and uh, work on my notes and uh, just be still in his peace and in his presence. Hosanna to the highest, my friends. Amen. Well, we better get going. I don't know what's going on with uh, uh, with our Blog Talk radio channel. They are still stalling, and I am not. I am not sure what's going on. So let's keep trying here. And I'm still getting battled by the flies. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on with them, but they are. They are having some issues still. Connection issues, right? So, well, how is your Monday going, friends? Did you make it to church yesterday? That's that's the important thing. Uh, did you happen to make it to church tomorrow or yesterday? Did you get a, a good message? Did the pastor teach you some good stuff? Well, I hope so, friends. I hope you got uh, you got in there and... Uh, you know, you, you got some good messages, because that's how it is. That's how we're supposed to be. So, All right. While we're waiting, I don't know what to do with it, friends. Uh, so let's see if we can get this back on here. All right. Let's not sure what's going on with this, but let's try it again. See what happens here. I'll bring up the Zingaya widget <laughs> for the sound. Hope we got everything done. I went back and redid all my wiring, and uh, so hopefully uh, it's working better. And uh, like I said, I went back and uh, redid the other shock mount with the uh, with the pop filter on it, so uh, I feel a little bit better about that. Uh, you know, like I said, just step trying to step up the ministry here, step up the podcast. All right, let's see what's going on with it. There we go, friends. <laughs> there we go, friends. And we're on. <laughs> I was waiting for that cue, but it never happened. Blog Talk uh, Radio, welcome to the podcast. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. Pastor Rick Riley here, live on the air. Blasting the devil for a Monday uh, early evening. Now, uh, like I said, I had to push it up a little bit, uh, a little bit of time here, uh, just because of uh, the usual activity that's going on. You know, I had to keep busy. Got a lot going on. So anyway, we're here. You're here uh, live at Spreaker.com, uh, Block Talk Radio, and Anchor, and more. Friends. Multitasking multi live cameras and microphones and uh got the old JBL or JVC uh headphones on and uh kind of redid it a little bit just just a little bit not too much but uh just a little bit here I wanted to make sure like I said we're trying to step up this ministry and, and step up the volume and levels and all that good stuff so Let's kick it off. Let's get going. Like I said, I've got so much to cover for you tonight. Yeah, as usual for our Monday uh, podcast. So a little bit of technical issues as usual, but uh, I think we can work around that, and I think we'll be okay, my friends. I think so. Amen. All right, double checking the cords, cables, wires. And uh, my notes. So let's kick it off. Hosanna again to the highest, my friends. Oh, Heavenly Father, I just come before you again. Thank you. I'm so humbled and honored. I uh, just uh, in awe. Father God, uh, again, 
uh, you know, as I continue your message, I continue your work, and I uh, continue this mission, this message, this mission that you called me to, Father God. I thank you for that, and I, uh, I'm just glad and uh, happy to continue to keep doing this. You know, always, 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 I want to lift up my family, my friends, everybody hearing and listening and connected uh, and, wa- you know, viewing the video part of the podcast. Uh, I want to lift them up in whatever situations they happen to be dealing with or handling or whatever's in their life. Uh, Father God, uh, just give it over to you, turn it over to you and and uh, lay the crown at your feet. God, just surrender it to you. Father God, because we need you. We need a Savior. And, uh, you know, just lift them up, Father God. This is such a, such a, uh, just a dark uh, world situation going on every day. So I give it over to you. I lift it up to you right now. Uh, and as I am in your holy presence, I lift it up to you right now. Father God, I thank you so much again, always. And uh, just, uh, yeah, just uh, thank you, God, for everything that you have provided and are providing and have provided. I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, friends, let's get that church up in the house, my friends. A little bit of delay on there, but that's all right. Let's see what's going on with that. And a commercial. All right. Well, that's okay. Well, let's get them, you know, we've got them commercials running through there. Oh, mercy. Where do we even start? Well, I'm going to take a look, friends, at, uh, again, Spirit's been throwing a revelation at me, uh, pretty major, and uh, continuing uh, to do that. So we're going to take a look at Revelation chapter 21, 1 through 12. And I never know. I just don't know why the the Spirit's been throwing that on me again. But uh, hey, that's all right. You know, whatever, whatever the Spirit, whatever verse, chapter, uh, uh, message, you know, the Holy Spirit throws at me, I'm going to pass it along to you guys. So, um, yeah. And then, of course, like I said, uh, we're going to continue uh, part three or part one. And uh, God's grace for you in Jesus is grace and truth. So write that down for your subtopic. And we're going to get into the Lord's Prayer, friends. Let's get stepping right on into it. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And thank you for my blessings. I know you, Jesus, Son of God, died on the cross for me so I can be forgiven for my sins and receive the Holy Spirit. Please forgive me for my sins and fall on me with your Holy Spirit. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Please forget. Let's see. Let's, I did that. I don't want to double, double do this here or double this up. Um, Got to go back over this again. There's something in it that just the Spirit just hit me with this again. Uh, Please forgive me for my sins and fall on me with your Holy Spirit. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Lord, please show me my purpose in life and how I can better serve you. Thy will be done, not my will. I pray this prayer. Jesus' holy name. Amen. All right. Well, that's good. Um, sorry about that uh, rustling papers again. 
You know how that goes, friends. Uh, the ultra-sensitive microphones and... Uh, Oh, mercy. All right, well, we better armor up because I'm going to go back. Now, I didn't get a chance yesterday, but I'm going to go back into uh, the uh, NLT Living Water for those who thirst. So I'm going to go back in there and uh, recap. Uh, have courage in trials. And I wanted to make sure I got that. So, and by the way... Uh, in case I forgot, because I got so excited about being on here, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast, Pastor Rick Riley here, late night, Monday. Well, early, not too late, but it is uh, a little after seven. And uh, we're hanging out, friends, in the Bible tonight. I've got so, so much to give you, uh, friends. Uh, welcome. Uh, come on in, have a chair, and get your coffee. That's what i got to get right now. Amen. All right, give me a second here, friends. Getting a couple of notes together. All right. And spill my coffee just a little bit. All right. Happens, you know, friends, I got... Uh, a real small space to work in, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for it. Uh, but uh, I, I'm expanding. I, I think and I hope that we're getting some desk here uh, to, uh, you know, to, to expand. That's going to be awesome. All right, we better get into our armor, friends. No doubt about that. Let's go ahead and grab our, uh, uh, grab the Bibles. Of course, I hope you have them. I mean, we are having a Bible study here, so. I uh, I hope you got them. Friends, go to Ephesians 6, 10 through 20, would you? Go to the KJ. Well, I'm in the KJV. You go in what, you know, what Bible you got. Let's take a look at uh, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20, the armor of God. Finally, my brothers and sisters, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Amen. Because he is mighty and powerful. Uh, Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand again or against the wiles of the devil. Right? All right. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. Uh, what's next? What's next? I'm anxious. What's next? No, I know. He said, be anxious for nothing. Uh, <laughs> well, he says, uh, and having, let's see, stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And you can take a look over here, of course, at First Peter 5, 8, 9. Uh, for your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Ah, oh, mercy. we got to stand on his promise and Stand our ground, right, friends? All right. More notes for my notes. All right. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which we know is the Word of God. It is our Bible, right? Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. And for me... That utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds or chains. Depends on the version you're reading. But uh, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Take a look at Romans 10, 9, 21. All right, there you go. Always got to do that thing. Right, got to put that armor on. 
Uh, before I get into the shout out list, uh, I think what I want to do here, friends, we're going to shift gears just a little bit. Uh, I want to go ahead and go into, I want to go into the NLT living water for those who thirst. Uh, so I hope you have your notes and your tablets your highlighters, right? Because uh, I told you, we are having us a Bible study tonight. And I'm just glad to be here. Glad to, uh, you know, we're praying over the Wi-Fi connection, praying over the, uh, the uh, you know, the wires, cables, wires, all that stuff, that uh, it all stays uh, on so that uh, I get this message out. All right. So, like I said, friends, how is your uh, Monday going? Uh, well, I hope it's well. I hope everything is well, and I hope things in your life is uh, going good. You know, I'm praying for each and every one of you all the time, every day, you know, keeping you guys in my thoughts and my prayers here before, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, happy and glad to have you guys on board and uh, thanks for stopping by uh, tonight again. You know, like I said, I'm trying to be consistent. I want to be, uh, you know, I want to be consistent with these messages. And I want to make sure that I bring them to you every day. Uh, if not, you know, basically because basically of the Wi-Fi connection, I want to bring these to you every single day or at least every other day, you know. So let's, let's now, I'm going to recap this again, like I said. Uh... NLT Living Water for those who thirst. It's a blue Bible. If you don't have one, friends, email me over at Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast at Yahoo.com. I would love to get you one, send you one, and uh, make sure that you guys have a copy of this, right? Because it is real. I feel it's like really, really good. Uh, of course, you know, I. Uh, Ha almost all my podcasts are uh, based on this. Uh, so let's take a look at it, friends. We're talking about having courage in trials. So you could write that down as your subtopic right out of the gate here, friends. We're going to get deep into the message tonight. And then I'm going to take a look at Revelations again, chapter 21, uh, 1 through 12. Now, many Christians, now we're back to the NLT here. Many Christians have the mistaken idea that once they make a commitment uh, to Jesus Christ, life will be smooth sailing from that day forward. Now, this is, my friends, not certainly not the case. While it is true that walking with Christ will help us avoid many of the problems we used to face, well, we're still going to experience what the Bible calls trials. Now, trials may come in the form of a crisis, a sudden illness, the loss of a loved one, or some drastic change in your life. You may go through a difficult time when you don't feel God's presence, or presence, when church may not be as exciting as it once was for you, or your prayers seem to go no higher than the ceiling. Now, this may cause you to wonder if you have angered God, or if he has left you completely, friends. That is certainly not the case. Now watch this. But God does not allow us to experience trials because he wants to see us suffer. That is just not the case, my friends. Don't buy into it. That's the devil. That's the enemy trying to discourage us and trying to uh, throw us off, like, oh, you know, yeah, be, you know, be depressed, be uh, discouraged, or, or you're, you're nothing. Well, no, don't listen to that garbage. That's the devil. That's the enemy. He's trying, you know what his job is, don't you, friends? He comes in there to kill, steal, and destroy. We're going to take a look at that here in a little bit. But he comes in there to kill, steal, and destroy. He wants to kill our dreams, destroy our, our courage, and uh, 
you know, uh, just throw, our, throw us completely off of what God wants us to do or get all the focus on him and our personal or our situation. But that's, don't buy into that, friends. Because once you realize the power that's in us and the same uh, faith, you know, the same uh, strengths that are in us because of what Jesus died on the cross for us. Friends. He took all that away from us. So we got to remember, we got to stand on God's promises and not listen to the devil's lies. So that's why, like I said, friends, that's why these, these uh, messages are really, really important. And I hope you are following along and taking messages or taking uh, notes. <laughs> that's what I was trying to get at. Notes, taking notes. All right. So uh, now let me go back over this again. But God does not allow us to experience trials because he wants us or wants to see us suffer. Rather, he allows these difficulties in our, into our lives to help us grow spiritually. That's right, friends. He wants to see us grow spiritually or help us grow spiritually. Now, to learn to live by faith and not by feelings. Walk by faith, not by sight. Too many of us out there are walking by sight and not by faith. Not holding on to God's promises, but leaning on our own understanding. And we can't do that, friends. Now, look up some passages here. I'll give you some scriptures. I'll give you the numbers uh, and the subtopics and the scriptures as I usually do. Uh, now, take a look at this, friends. And notice also God's promises or promise to be with us during these times of trouble because he flat out just promises us that he's going to get us through and guide us through it, no doubt. But uh, what are you doing with what, you, what you've been taught, right? Not in our flesh, my friends, in the spirit. All right, amen. All right, number one, right out of the gate here, friends. Trials sharpen our faith. Hardships develop our character and purify our faith. Take a look at First Peter one three and seven, or one three through, or one three through seven. There you go. It's a tongue twister. All right, number two. Trials help us comfort others. Now, experiencing suffering deepens our compassion for others who suffer. Take a look at 2 Corinthians 1, 3, and 7. Or 1, 3, 1, 3 through 7. There you go. Number three. This is a biggie, friends. Now, I hope you're listening and uh, writing notes down. Number three. Trials are survivable. Now, we must keep our eternal perspective through the tough times at uh, 2 Corinthians 4, 7, and 18. Number four, trials test our foundation. Now, when we ground our lives in Christ, when we get that solid foundation in the Lord, we can weather any storm. Take a look at Luke 647 through 49, friends. Now, number five, Jesus is with us in life storms. Friends, he said he will never leave us nor forsake us. So why are you stressed out? Why are you stretched out? If you have that promise, just like the, you know, just like uh, when Jesus is walking on that water, he told Peter, get out of the boat, sank. Because he didn't have that faith. He didn't believe that. After everything that he watched them, or, you know, all the disciples and what they watched Jesus do, all those miracles, and they still did not have faith. Uh, and, and I don't know, we get like that too. But that's why, uh, you know, this is going to help you. Uh, it's going to give you a little bit of clarity and understanding here, so... Amen. Glad to bring it to you, friends. Again, number five, Jesus is with us in life storms. 
We are never outside of God's watchful eye and his abiding presence. Mark 4, 35 through 41. Uh, number six. God gives us hope or gives hope to our troubled hearts. We can have peace of mind in the middle of our greatest trials, friends. Take a look at John 14, 1 through 7. <laughs> 1 through 7. Uh, that's it. All right. So there you go, friends. Uh, I just, I, I ran out of time yesterday, and I just wanted to make sure that uh, I had enough time. I made sure that I had time today to cover it on uh, today's podcast, Monday podcast. All right. What are we looking at here? Well, I do have the shout out list. I do want to get to that. But let's, uh, because we're going to go back into the scriptures here too, but let's take a look real quick here, friends, if you will. Go ahead and bounce on over to uh, Revelation chapter 1. I'm just going to do 1 through 20, or 1 through 12, uh, as if, if you look at the picture on uh, Spreaker.com, uh, for some reason the Spirit just showed that to me. And uh, so I want to cover that here. Now, I've already read uh, all of it. I mean, we've gone through Revelation. I've got, done bits and pieces of it here and there. But I wanted to make sure that uh, I covered this again. Uh, again, I'm not sure why the Spirit keeps throwing me into Revelations. Now, we've gone through that. I've uh, worked on the other scriptures and worked on the other messages. But I keep getting shifted back to the book of Revelation. There's a warning in there. There's definitely, we got to pay attention to the warning signs that's going on right now. I mean, we're already in the end times. That's uh, that's clear. But uh, we need to definitely, uh, you know, be in our Bibles, friends. Be in our word. And so, uh, <laughs> like I said, I never know what the Spirit's going to shift me to, but I just got to pay attention to what he is shifting me to. And uh, so that I can bring these messages to you guys. All right, let me hang on here. My mic kind of did a 180 on me. I don't know why, but uh, all right. So let's go back into uh, Revelation chapter 21. You know, they're, uh, the, uh, they're talking about the two book of life or books of life. Uh, somebody argued with me saying that there was only one book of life but no there's uh the first book is talking about uh in revelation 20 chapter 12 uh so as it says uh let me go back here backtrack a little bit into 12 and i saw the dead small and the great stand before god and the books were open. See, friends, right there, the books, two books of life, right there. Uh, so, all right, let me write my notes here. So, and the two books were opened. Another book was opened. Uh, which is the book of life. That's the first book, right? And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books. Again, the books according to their works. I'll just read this out. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And... They were judged, every man, according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. So you got to pay attention. you got to watch what's going on. Uh, and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Now, this isn't something to be scared about, friends. This is... Uh, a warning and, and something that we need to pay attention to uh, as we go through our life, right? Time to repent. All right. 
still battling them flies. I, I'm trying to do everything I can to get rid of them so I can get back on the YouTube channel. Uh, but for now, I'm going to end up just staying on the audio part of it. And uh, But hopefully soon, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, my plan was uh, tomorrow morning, uh, thank God, get my coffee, and bomb the room. So that's uh, that's how my Tuesday morning is going to go. <laughs> and uh, so hopefully I can get back on and do the two services that I was normally doing before. Uh, I got invaded by the flies because... Oh, it's merciful. I mean, it's mercy, merciless. What's the word? Merciless? Not merciful. God is merciful. Amen for that. All right. All right. So give me a second here. I go ahead and go down to 21. I want to make sure that I've got these notes taken care of so that I won't mess them up. All right. Hang on here, friends. Hold that thought. We're always, always, always. All right. So give me a second here. Let me let me get this caught up here real quick. So if you have any doubts or uh, questions, friends, there are two books of life written. Uh, it's right there in uh, 20 and 21. Of course, a lot of people stay out of Revelations, friends. I don't know why. That's not something we should be afraid of uh, if we are... Uh, saved and if we are you know holy spirit led uh, but uh for some reason uh, a lot of people are uh they they back off of revelation and i'm not sure why i mean that was the first really the first book that i really went into that was a spirit just threw me right straight in there and said ah i'm gonna i'm gonna you're gonna read revelations and uh, <laughs> there it is. So, all right. Still trying to catch up on that, but it looks like I'll have to come back to it because uh, I do want to get into the podcast here. So. So I'm being bombarded by the flies again. I've already chased one out uh, of my cup of water here. Uh, all right. So give me a minute here, friends. Like I said, I am trying to get this caught up here, uh, which I'm going to have to just wait uh, and uh, come back to this because I really... I kind of went over some of my notes, and I can't read them, actually. Uh, so, I'll have to just come on back. All right. What the hell? Uh, yep, I'm going to have to come back to it. So, let's go to 21 real quick here. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God with, is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And watch this, friends, in verse 4. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, nor neither sorrow, nor crying, uh, neither, again with my notes being all over the place here, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things, 
Watch this, friends. For the former things are passed away. Uh, what a, what a, just uh, think about that, friends. Let that sit in your mind for a minute. For the former things are passed away. Now, we're looking at Isaiah 25, 8 and 1 Corinthians 15, 26. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. We're talking about grace here. Isaiah 12, 3 and Revelation 1, 8. He that overcometh shall inherit it all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. And 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and the murderers and the whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which purify uh, or which perneth with fire, or burneth with fire. I don't know where I got perneth out of. That's not even in the book. <laughs> now we're talking about the second death. See, they're talking at 20 and 21, talking about the two deaths and the two books of life. Uh, so let me go back down here. Uh, it's burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. 1 Corinthians 6, 9 and Ephesians 5, 5. And there, there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials full of seven last plagues, and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will shew you thee the bride, or shew thee the bride, the lamb's wife. Revelation 15, 1. Now, I'm not going to get into the whole book of Revelation, because that would just, um, that's not where I want to go tonight. All right. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and shewed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God. Ezekiel 48, 1. Having the glory of God in the right was like unto a stone most precious even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. They need a wall, great and high. And, now we're talking about the golden reed, and had 12 gates, and at the gates 12 angels, and names written thereon, which were the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Uh, Ezekiel forty-eight thirty-one. On the east, three gates. On the north, uh, three gates on the south, three gates, and on the west, three gates. The wall of the city had twelve foundations, and them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. Matthew sixteen eighteen. Now, I'm gonna just, I guess I'll go ahead and read out here. Uh, just because this, this is really, uh, just, I mean, I'm, I don't know why, like I said, I don't know why Spirit's throwing Revelation back at me again, but we're going to go through it again here, friends. Uh, all right, in 14, in the wall of the city and the 12 foundations, and in them the, the names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb, Matthew sixteen eighteen, And he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city, uh, and the gates thereof, and the wall thereof, Ezekiel 43. And the city lieth, the city lieth four square, and the length is as large, or as large square, and the length is as large as the breadth. And he measured the city with a reed, 12,000 furlongs. The length and the breadth and the height of it are equal. And he measured the wall thereof, and hundred and forty 
and four cubits, according to the measure of a man. That is of the angel. And the building of the wall of it was of jasper, and the city of pure gold, or was pure gold, uh, I are like unto other glass. Uh, these flies are getting on my nerve. <laughs> and they are. Uh, and I, I think it's the weather here, friends. We would definitely, real quick here, we are definitely changing seasons, and it is getting cold. So I think the flies are coming in for that. All right, so give me a second here, friends. Let me fix this up here. And uh, let's see where we are. All right, 19. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper. The second, sapphire. Uh, the third, a uh, chalcedony. I believe that's what that is. And the fourth, an emerald, Isaiah 54, 11. The fifth, Sardonyx. The sixth, Sar uh, Sardius. The seventh, uh, Chrysolite. The eighth, Beryl. The ninth, the Topaz. The tenth, uh, uh, Chrysoporus. A crypt. What is that? Hang on here, friends. Cuprasas. Uh, if you know what that is, friends, please email me and let me know what that's how you pronounce that. Uh, the eleventh, a jacinth, and the twelfth, an amethyst. And Twenty-one, and the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Every several gate was of one pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold. As it was a transparent glass, or it were a transparent glass, Revelation 22, 2. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it, in John 4, 23. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon, to shine in it. For the glory of, the, of God did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. Amen. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it. And the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor of it, or into it. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day. For there shall be no night there. Isaiah sixty eleven, And they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. And there shall be in no wise enter into anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie. But they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. There's my point, friends. That's what I was trying to get to uh, because I've had this argument so many times that there is just no possibility uh, of two books of life. Well, if you don't know, uh, you know, friends, if you don't know by not reading the Bible and not saying in, in the word, well, you're not going to know, right? You're just not going to know. Uh, I think it says in Matthew, my people will perish for lack of knowledge. Right? And I have a thirst and hunger for the Word of God. And I am glad that uh, God has opened up, the Spirit has opened up an opportunity, uh, really, for me just to spend time reading and being in the Word. All right. So give me a second here, friends. We're going to go straight on down into uh, our shout-out list. Amen. Uh, for our friends over at Anchor, I uh, just want to make sure that we get this message in there. All right. And, of course, you know, our, our, our what is it? Our shadow list. All right. Let me get to the scripture now. Where was I going? There it is. 
Uh, we are going to take a look here, friends. Uh, so hold this, hold this page for a minute. Second Corinthians chapter six. Uh, we are going to jump into that for a minute. But uh, let me get into the shout-out list, friends. Let me get into the shout-out list, my friends. Amen. Then I'm going to continue and keep jumping on into the uh, uh, podcast notes. Part one, God's grace for you. Actually, it's in part three, but part one here. Uh, God's grace for you and Jesus' grace and truth. Mercy. I know it is nuts. Wait. Well, hopefully it's not too late where you're at, friends, but, uh, you know, it's a little after almost 8 o'clock here, so we, we've been on for almost an hour. Amen. All right. We keep a fly trap here. <laughs> and uh, go ahead and jump into the shout-out list here, friends. Now I I gotta write this down. I gotta figure out who who wrote this or who where I got this from. But uh, pray not until God hears you, but until you listen to God. Huh? What do you know about that, friends? All right, let's get into our shout out list. All of course, all our precious visitors, family, friends at all the podcast channels worldwide. I want to give you guys thanks, and I appreciate your stopping by and checking the podcast out, checking this ministry out. Uh, I really do, and I appreciate your time. So thank you, guys. Uh, of course, Brother Mark at uh, the Facebook page, The Christian Watchers of the 2017-2024 Solar Eclipses Group. Awesome. Brother Mark, thank you so much again uh, for reposting all these podcasts on there. Friends, if you have a Facebook page, would you go on over there and, and, and jump into that group? What an awesome, uh, awesome group, and I appreciate that. Miss Jackie over at Twitter, Periscope Live, and Facebook Live, Monday through Sunday, Midnight Scope. Uh, always taking prayer requests, and uh, what a great warrior uh, for, for Christ uh, Miss Jackie is. Thank you again, Jackie. I uh, appreciate you, and I will be chatting with you soon. Miss Tiffany Blackwell Ministries over at YouTube and Facebook Live, and so much more. Always out there. Amen. I always want to pray for our sister in Christ here, friends. Jada Franson online. Could you stop by and say hi and uh, tell them you or tell all you're praying for? Them. Uh, amen. All right. So we also want to acknowledge my sisters in Christ, Miss Christina, Susan, Nancy, Laura, Carla for the use of the laptop. So many more. Uh, of course, Miss Sophie and Miss Kitty over at my CBN. Uh, right there at Twitter, my Twitter channel, we do have a um, Twitter ministry page uh, along with Periscope. Miss Addie and Miss Tisha, thank you so much, Donna, for your uh, heart. That was awesome. And uh, Miss Jamina Arroyo, or Arroyo uh, on Twitter, and you guys can check her out at iTunes, YouTube, and Spotify. Go check her out. Uh, amen. And Miss Midori. Twitter and Periscope Live. Amen. All right, let's go to our page two. Radio Piacenza and Radio Sound 83 uh, at, in Italy. Amen. That's cool. Uh, right here at Spreaker.com. How awesome is that? Of course, listen, we got some. We got another one. Uh, N3 Radio over in Steubenville, Ohio. Miss Jackie, you know where that's at, right? I think I know that, but that's pretty cool. Uh, amen. You know, friends, and we always want to acknowledge our our pastors, the shepherds that are feeding the flock and uh, giving that good message, that good news gospel, uh, right there in the fire daily. Uh, you know, shepherding. So I got a little uh, personal shout out list for all the. Uh, pastors, the shepherds, right? the evangelists. Neil Render TV, my, my friend out in uh, Chicago. Uh, YouTube, my CBN, and I believe he's at Facebook too, friends. So go scope it out. Uh, over at CBN, my CBN, Pastor Oni in Japan. I uh, appreciate you. 
Thank you so much. And, of course, Pastor J. David Ford and his wife Rose, my CBN, iTunes, Spotify, and more. KWA 95.5 FM, Power Radio, uh, Internet Radio, friends. Go check it out. I've been, like I said, uh, I've been listening to it for, for years now. And my gosh, that is powerful. You can find him on all the apps, all the radio apps, iTunes, Spotify, uh, and a lot more. I'm sure he's on uh, SoundCloud. I'm sure there's a Facebook page. So go check that out, friends, and add him. And he is uh, power, man. When you're in a when you're in a mood, that gets you right out of it and, and lifts your spirits right up. All right, Pastor Rodney Francis Ministries online. Of course, you know we've been praying for uh, New Zealand. Uh, what happened to them out there? And uh, keeping that prayer chain going. Um, getting real close, friends. Just stand by. Probably in the next few weeks here. Repentance, a message for the church. And uh, I'm getting excited about getting that message. You've been going back through there, making sure all the notes are together. And uh, they are. Oh, I, they are. Let me close out Anchor. That's it. World Wildlife Ministry Podcast. Anchor.com. Pastor Rick Rowley here. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Boy, was that quick. Boy, that went right real fast. <laughs> Real, real fast. I did not expect that. Uh, we just went right through our hour. And, uh, boy, oh boy. That was amazing. So let me close that out. Making sure my cord's not out of the way or in the way, I guess. <laughs> Amen, my brothers and sisters. Well, we're going to get into the hour here, and into the hour podcast or so. I'm just uh, connecting up my connecting up my cables. Amen. Sorry about that. You can hear that probably in the background. But uh, all right. <laughs> well, like I said, friends, how is your Monday going? Uh, I hope it's going well. Mine's been busy as usual. No problem. You know, uh, always is. And. Uh, Let's see. So I changed over from the in-ear bud, you know, the bud uh, earphones or headphones uh, back to my Studio Pro JVCs. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, the quality, like I said, we're trying to step up the quality here. And uh, we want to make sure, uh, you know, we take it to that next level because God has laid this in my heart, on my heart. Uh, well, in my heart, but he's laid it on my heart uh, to uh, step up these podcasts, and so I, I've got to make it happen, right? I gotta, I gotta keep trusting God and believing God that uh, he's going to, uh, you know, he's gonna do what he's gonna do, and so uh, you know. But for for my end of it, friends, you know how transparent I am with you. Uh, from my end of it, I have to step this up, and I've got to upgrade and get these, uh, get the uh, better part of the, you know, the better equipment as much as possible. And so that's what I'm doing, my friends. So I went back to the JVCs and uh, retested a couple of things earlier, and uh, it's it's. Really good, friends. I'm glad to be doing this. Glad to keep doing this message. Uh, again, not leaning out on my own understanding. It's it's not about what I feel or what I don't want to do. It's about serving God. And, uh, you know, that's what we got to take away from all this. We have to, you know, step out of ourselves, out of our comfort zone, as, as they say. And, uh, you know, serve God. Right, we gotta be, we gotta be uh, steadfast in the faith. Right. All right. So, continuing with my pastors list, I, uh, Pastor Michael Holcomb over at Bible Days Ministries, iHeartRadio, and more, and of course the newest one over here, we got Pastor David Lynn, Christ Forgiveness Ministries on YouTube, Facebook Live, and so much more uh, up in Canada, Toronto, Canada. Man, oh man. I watched his videos, and boy, oh boy, talk about um, in the lion's den. Uh, whew, 
my gosh. Oh, man. Uh, much uh, activating the fruits of the Spirit, friends. And uh, go scope it out. Go check it out. If you've got some time, go uh, onto uh, YouTube and go check that out. All right. Uh, now, listen, friends. We are still doing this prayer chain for all the families, uh, everything, everybody affected by the um, all these mass shootings. That just blows me away. Uh, just continuing, continuing, in, in one after another, and uh, so we we want to lift them up, friends. Can we can we do that? Can you take some time out of your schedule and just uh, lift up those families and those friends, uh, everybody affected by this stuff? Uh, Gilroy, California, El Paso, Texas, Dayton, Ohio, and then uh, Midland and Odessa, Texas, and then there was several after that. I mean, it's unbelievable. But you know we are we are in the end times, as the evangelist says. Uh, we are in the end times, and this is what's happening. And, and I know really why uh, the Spirit keeps throwing me back into Revelations. It's warnings. It's warnings that we need to pay attention to, and uh, not to be afraid. Hey, God doesn't give us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. So if we are Holy Spirit led and we are born again believers, friends, if we are that blood washed believer, well, we don't have any fear. Uh, you know, we have that promise of eternal life. And that's that right there is, uh, oh man, oh man, my friends. So <laughs> that's why. I'm I'm just rejoicing in his word, my friends, and I am glad to be doing it. So let's get, friends, let's get into uh, 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 6. Now, if there was ever a, uh, a set of scriptures or a book to lift you up out of your, whatever it is you're going through, go to the book of 2 Corinthians, my friends, 1st and 2nd. But let's take a look right here, chapter 6, uh, because uh, mm, I didn't get to it yesterday. Ran out of time. Right. So let's take a look here, friends. Chapter 6, we then as workers together with him beseech you also that you receive not the grace of God in vain. For he saith, I have heard thee in time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I secured thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Isaiah 49, 8. Giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. But in all things approving ourselves as the ministers of God, in much, watch this, friends, in much patience, in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses, in 1 Corinthians 4, 1, in stripes, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in watchings, in fastings, by pureness, by knowledge, by longsuffering, by kindness, by the Holy Spirit, by love unfeigned, by the word of truth, by the power of God, and uh, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left. First Corinthians two four and Second Timothy four seven. By honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true, as unknown and yet well known as dying, and behold, we live as chastened and not killed. All uh, right. Hang on, here, friends. Ah, <laughs> oh, my notes. All right, verse 10. As sorrowful, yet always rejoicing, as poor, yet making many rich, as, I, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. Right? O ye Corinthians, our mouth is open unto you, our heart is enlarged. Second, 
Corinthians 7, 3. Ye are not straightened in us, but ye are straightened in your own bowls. Now for a recompense the same. I speak as unto my children, be ye also enlarged. And be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? Deuteronomy 7.2 And what conquered hath Christ with Belial? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And the and what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God, as God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they will or shall be my people. Wherefore, oh, where did I go here? Wherefore, right? <laughs> All right, hang on here, friends. Lost my place. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Isaiah 52, 11. And will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters. And saith the Lord Almighty. Yeah, now that is good stuff, right? All right, now I'm just taking a quick look here. I'll figure out where I'm going to go next. But I do want to get into, into the message here. But, uh, friends, we've got enough time. Why don't we go ahead and, and throw in, real quick, chapter 7. We'll stay right with uh, 2 Corinthians 6.13. We'll jump right into right into uh, 7. as a, Just kind of a little side uh, scripture tonight. Having, therefore... These promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. 2 Corinthians uh, 6, 17. Receive us, we have wronged no man, we have corrupted no man, we have defrauded no man. Now we're talking about uh, be not unequally yoked and uh, Macedonians excel in giving. All right. I speak not this to condemn you for I have said before that ye are in our hearts to die and live with you. Great is my boldness of speech towards you. Great is my glor uh, glor or glorying of you. There it is. I am filled with comfort. I am exceeding joyful in all our tribulation. All right. Hang on here, friends. Ah, mercy. All right. Boy, I have got to look into my settings and make find out why uh why my uh why my lights keep going off i just i'm trying to keep those going uh and uh they're not they keep shutting themselves down i don't know why i don't i don't like that but uh anyway they're i'm gonna have to go back into my settings on that so hang on here friends just a second here um boy oh boy Lots of lots of homework. It always keeps me busy, see? All right. So great is my boldness of speech towards you. Great is my, as I am looking at my notes here, is my glorying of you. I am filled with comfort. I am exceeding joyful in all uh hang on here <laughs> i lost my notes oh no 
in all our tribulation, 1 Corinthians 1, 4. For when we were coming to Macedonia, our flesh had no rest, but we were troubled on every side. Without were fightings, without were fears. Nevertheless, God that comforteth those that are cast down comforted us by the coming of Titus, and not by his coming only, but by the consolation wherewith he was comforted in you. When he told us your earnest desire, your mourning, uh, your verm uh, fervent mind towards me, so that I rejoice the more. For thou I made you sorry, for though I made you sorry with a letter, I do not repent, though I did repent, for I perceived that the same epistle hath made you sorry, though it were but for a season. Now I rejoice, not that ye were made sorry, but that ye sorrowed to repentance, for ye were made sorry after a godly man or a godly manner, there it is that ye might receive damage by us in nothing. For godly sorrow worketh repentance to salvation, not to be repented of, but the sorrow of the world worketh death. For behold, this self same thing, that ye sorrowed after a godly sort, what carefulness it wrought in you, yea, what clearing of yourselves, yea, what indignation, yea, what fear, yea, what vehement desire, yea, what zeal, yea, what revenge. In all things ye have been approved, or ye have approved yourselves to be clear in this matter. Wherefore, though, <laughs> sorry about that, friends, I ain't mean. Now, wherefore, though I write unto you, I did it not for this cause that had done the wrong, nor for this cause that suffered wrong, but that our care for you in the sight of God might appear unto you. 2 Corinthians and, uh, 2 4. Therefore, we were comforted in your comfort, yea, and exceedingly the more joyed we for the joy of Titus, because. His spirit. Now, hang on here, friends. Uh, my main, uh, my main operation here just dying out of me. Uh, let's check our volume again. Make sure we're still on. Yep, we're still on. Amen. I love it. All right. Now. Let's go back out to, uh, I think we're at, I'm going to go ahead and go back over 12 again, right? Wherefore, though I wrote unto you, I did it not for his cause that had done the wrong, nor uh, for his cause that suffered wrong, but that our care for you in the sight of God might appear unto you, 2 Corinthians 2, 4. Therefore, right? Therefore we were comforted in your comfort, yea, and exceedingly the more joyed we for the joy of Titus, because his spirit was refreshed by y'all, or you all, right? It's, it, does that sound like you all or y'all? <laughs> no, that's not in the Bible. Marcy, that is not in the Bible. I don't know what that was. Anyway, friends, give me a second here again. And once again, hang on here. All right, I'm going to switch out my headset real quick. And of course, uh, as usual, give me just a minute here, friends. So 13, I believe we're in 13 here. Therefore, we were comforted in your comfort. Uh, yay. <laughs> Hang on here. All right. Yay. Where are we at? Hold on here, friends. And exceedingly. There we are. We're in 13. I don't know why. For some reason, 
I bounced out of there and uh, lost track of where I was at. So, <laughs> all right. So, friends, sorry about this here. We've got a little technical issue going on right now. And uh, so I'm trying to correct it real quick. Uh, amen. Give me just a minute here. Let me make sure I get all this, everything's connected again. Uh, amen here. All right, so we're taking a look at uh, 13. Sorry again, friends, real quick. I had some technical issues happen on me, and uh, boy, did it throw me completely off here. So give me a, just a quick second here. And, of course, all right. for some reason, All right, there we go. I wanted to make sure we got these connected back in again. For some reason, uh, just didn't wasn't happening, and uh, not sure why. And something went wrong here. Uh, so give me a quick second here, friends. Give me just a quick minute here. All right, we're back. So in fourteen, I'm gonna just go right through it, finish it out. For I have boasted anything to him of you. I am not ashamed, but as we spake all things to you in truth. Even so our boasting, which I made before Titus, is found of truth, or found a truth, and his inward affection is more abundant towards you, whilst he remembereth the obedience of you all. How, with fear and trembling, ye received him. I rejoice thereof, or therefore, that I have confidence in you, in all things. There we go. All right, well, let's jump to our message, my friends. Boy, oh boy. You know, if it's not one thing with the enemy, it's got to be something else. It just never ceases to amaze me uh, of what, you know, what the, what the enemy is just trying to do or is attempting to do. Uh, by completely throwing me off my uh, off my groove, I don't get it. I don't know what he's thinking of, but he's sure uh, he is sure messing up. You know, uh, <laughs> I just don't get it. I mean, well, I get it, but you know, that poor that devil is just completely uh, out of his marbles, right? All right. <laughs> All right, hang on here, friends. All right, give me a second again. And uh, got to maneuver something here real quick. And we'll see what happens here. So go ahead and get your notes, my friends. We are going to take a look at, the, at uh, continuing uh in uh what is it uh part three god's grace for you jesus is grace and truth we got a little about uh 12 13 minutes here and so uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that real quick here so there you go friends now we left off like i said second corinthians 8 2 and 7 8 8 9 and 9 1 uh 15 right so i hope you got your notes here and uh, looks like we're reconnected uh, I keep kind of bouncing back and forth between the JVC's and the uh, in-ear stuff but I think I'm gonna I think I am gonna just stick with stick with that uh, because the, uh, the better uh, it's just deeper I can hear uh, the bass a little bit better so there we go, friends. All right. All right. So let's move on with this podcast here, friends. Romans 1, 1, 15, and Romans 12, 2 and 3. And do not be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. All right, jumping right into part four here, friends. God's word, the oath. Also, uh, you can say that with a sinner's 
prayer of salvation. Uh, A, all right, Matthew 28, 19. Uh, the risen Christ. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. All right. The Holy Spirit. Amen. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even at the end of the world. Amen. Amen. Uh, even unto the end of the world. Amen. And in Acts 2.42, and they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. I do hereby, now we're looking at one true God, and, and again, I went back to the Orthodox Study Bible, uh, I do hereby solemnly state uh, of belief in the Lord, God as the one true God. I hold no other before him. I honor his word as the almighty ruler of both heaven and earth. And I give thanks to him for all that he has bestowed upon me. Amen. All right. And Jesus Christ, our Savior. Uh, you can write this down. It's number two. Now, I do hereby accept Jesus Christ, born of the Virgin Mary, as the Son of God, and our true and holy Savior. Now, he died for my sins and rose again and is now seated on the right hand of the Father to watch over me. And for that, I give thanks. And number three, confessions of sin, or part two, with the sinner's prayer. I confess that I am a sinner, and I have prayed for forgiveness of all past sins, and I have forgiven all those who have sinned against me. I ask for strength from the Lord to help me, or help follow uh, a righteous path and lead others by the will of God. Amen. All right, now I'm going to throw a lot of scriptures at you here this time, friends, so I hope you have your pens and papers with you, uh, notebooks, uh, because I'm going to throw a bunch at you here. Uh, and this is going to be one through five, so I'll go over them slowly, and there might be a couple of them together, but I'll give them to you one at a time here. Uh, again, one through five. First one's going to be 1 Corinthians 9, 13 through 18, and you can look that up. These are going to be your passage uh, scripture lookup pages that uh, you guys can do on your own time for your own, uh, you know, your own Bible study. Uh, all right, Colossians. Now I got two in Colossians here. Colossians one fourteen through fifteen or and fifteen, and uh, Colossians two five. There you go. All right, number three, Hebrews six ten, the promise of God. Amen. And four is going to be Matthew 14, 14, and five is going to be Mark 1, 15. And saying the time is fulfilled, then the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent uh, and believe in the gospel of the good news. All right. All right. Some extra. Well, let's see. I'm going to skip that part because uh, I don't really want to go that. Well, that's from Dr. Tony Evans. I don't think I can, without copyright problems, I don't think I can actually say them on the air. So I'll have to wait on that and get permission from it. All right. Again, here's going to be one through three, side scripture, passage lookup. Uh, and you guys can take a look at those yourselves again. Uh, amen. All right, born to heavenly hope. First Peter one one eight, number two Acts four two and eleven, uh, and three is Second Timothy two one. Be strong in the grace of Christ. Now, where are we at? Number four here, right? Our command and instructions from God. Second Timothy four one eight. 
Oh, let's see. Where are we at? Number one here. I charge thee, therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Uh, Acts 10.42 and 2 Timothy 2.14. Preach the word. Be in uh, be instant, in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all suffering and doctrine. 1 Timothy 4.13 For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust. Uh, shall they heat to themselves teachers having itching ears? And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned into fables. Uh, but watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, and make full proof of thy ministry. Amen. All right, so we're looking at Acts 21 8 and 2 Timothy 1 8. For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. Philippians 1.23 I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. 1 Corinthians 9.24 And 1 Timothy 6.12 Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them that also love his appearing. 1 Corinthians 9.25, 1 Peter 5.4 Do thy diligence to come shortly unto me. All right, uh, throwing some more scriptures out here at you, friends. We're going to Go about five uh, scriptures here in Romans, because we are more than conquerors, by the way. Romans 1, 16 through 17. Romans 3, 5, and 8. Romans 7, 1, 25. And Romans 8, 1 through 39. More than conquerors, again. Romans 10, 1, 21. Uh, amen. All right, Second Corinthians four one eighteen. Again, in Hebrews six ten and Hebrews thirteen five. For God is not unjust to forget your work and labor of love, which you uh, show towards. I don't know what that is. I don't know what I was doing there. Uh, my gosh, which you shown, there it is. It looked like showy or something like that. That was a little strange. Show towards his name in that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. All right. Of course, uh, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20, uh, that is your main, you know, the main scripture, of course, the armor of God. Now Christ is supreme, Colossians 1, 13-15, who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son, Ephesians 6, 12, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, Ephesians 1, 7, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature, 2 Corinthians Four, four, and we're gonna stop right there, my friends. That's it. There we go. Uh, we're gonna go back into Revelations three fourteen again with Revelations. Spirit, what is going on with that? I don't. I don't I'm not sure, friends. But that's where we're gonna leave off, and uh, that's uh, that's where we're gonna stop right there. Um, amen. So, again, friends, sorry for all those little stops and stuff. I have been having some technical issues with my, uh, with my uh, headphones uh, and the connections. I'm missing something. Something I think my cat got to it. 
and uh, chewed off or, or attacked it or something. I don't know what he, what he did. He was in there playing, goofing around. And uh, that's what happened. So that's it, friends. I stay tuned for tomorrow. Now, like I said, I'm trying to get these things on here around 4 o'clock. It just doesn't happen. And so, I, I mean, I would love to, you know, I would love to just come back on here and have just a normal uh, schedule. You know, like, hey, every day, like I said on the last podcast, like every day, I you can count on it. I'll be here every single day at 4 o'clock. It just so much going on, so much activity. There's just no way I can do it. And uh, it makes it really impossible just to be able to schedule uh, or set up uh, a schedule uh, because uh, of the activity of everything going on. And uh, that makes it difficult. It's not, I don't want to do that. I want to make sure that I can get on here every single day. But uh, it's just not, it doesn't happen. So, uh, again, bear with me, friends. Uh, things will break here pretty soon, and uh, we'll just keep uh, we'll just keep moving right forward, right? Uh, in this in this word of God, friends. All right, my brothers and sisters. Thanks again for hanging out with me. And I know you guys are just putting up with so much uh, silliness from here. And uh, well, I'm still here, friends. I'm still going to be preaching this message. Ain't no way. Uh, I'm not going to do it. Um, God is good, friends, and he has blessed. Uh, he has blessed this ministry. He has blessed this house. And, uh, oh, I'm going to just keep getting his word out. Uh, no matter what, no matter what the conditions, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, and the devil, well, he can go right back to hell. I'll pack him a lunch and some coffee. All right, friends, let's get our church Amen. Are they there? <laughs> All right, friends. That's it. Worldwide live ministry podcast. Your pastor here, Rick Rowley, here live. Oh, I'm preaching a good news gospel, friends. I'm not going to stop. I got to get my heat going, get some coffee going. Have a good night, friends. And, uh, oh, I'm bombing the studio in the morning. And uh, hopefully that'll get all the uh, flies out of here. So we'll be doing two services. Well, maybe more. But uh, I'll be back on YouTube with our Blog Talk radio channel and anchor uh, around 4 to 4.30. And then again with uh with the um seven thirty podcast back at Spreaker with our live cast and probably LinkedIn if I could figure a way to get that set up. Uh but uh just stand by, stay tuned, hold on. Uh and no worries, my precious friends. I'll see you again tomorrow, friends. Well you won't see me, but maybe on YouTube. We'll see what happens. All right, have a good night. Have a good Monday, friends, and I'll see you tomorrow. Amen.